So welcome to this Fearless Friday's uh, first video in a series of four that we're going to be doing. Uh, we got a great opportunity this week. My uh, editor called and said he's going to be going out of town to Italy for a while. And he wanted to know if we could get four videos in ahead of time so that when he's gone, he doesn't have to work on them. And I said, sure, this is a great opportunity for us to do a four video series on getting good at approaching, direct approaching, indirect approaching uh, beautiful women. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It's summertime. It's time to get out. Let's have some fun. So what this first video is going to be about is priming the pump in this series. Um, what I want to do is, is kind of let you know who this series is for. This series is for anybody that maybe has never approached and wants to start approaching, uh, wants to get good at approaching, is just started, is got some basic skill sets down, wants to develop a little bit more grounding, more connection in their approaches. Uh, because over the four weeks, we're going to build up the skill set a little bit to work you towards being able to get phone numbers and get uh, and get dates and so forth. So that's what this series is for. It's for, and it's for those people that want to develop that skill. If you're a little bit better approaching, you, you've been, you approach on a regular basis, you might find the beginning of this a little boring. But then again, if you really dive in and you follow along with everybody else, you might pick up some subtleties about embodiment, about connection that maybe you were missing before. 1% can change everything. A 1% change can suddenly shift the whole way you're being. My biggest shifts come from the smallest realizations, these little subtle realizations that cause the whole way I'm being in front of a woman to completely shift. Now, with that said, the first thing I want you to uh, do is I want you to commit. I want you to commit to the next four weeks, and you're going to do that by getting a little journal, preferably a written journal, carry it in your pocket for the next four weeks, and you're going to be journaling your experiences, and you're going to be journaling your approaches. All I want you to commit to is a minimum of two approaches a day, preferably three. I don't want you to do too many. And I'm talking about approaching women you're attracted to, women you find cute, not just doing in like we, we always talk about doing a lot of approaches a day where, you, where you're actually stopping people. We call them stops. Stopping and having casual conversations, flowing with people, joking with people, flirting with people, but not really to hit on a girl, just to practice being a social person. Well, in this case, you're actually going to be stopping girls you really like, you find attractive, you find sexy, you find beautiful, she's got a great vibe, you want to know her better. That's what this is for. That's what the journal is for. So in the journal, I want you to write down your commitment. Are you, are you committing to the next four weeks of two approaches a day, three approaches a day? Don't go so much that you can't do it because... I'm going to have you doing some other stuff too to help develop the quality of, of those approaches. So get that journal, get that taken care of. That's step number one. And then write it down in pencil or pen exactly what you're going to be doing. I prefer you do that over a digital notepad, which disappears and you forget about very easily. If you're carrying this journal, it's kind of a mnemonic. It's a reminder of what you're doing. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start your uh, two approaches. You're going to start, and I want you to get the first two out of the way as quickly as possible, and I don't care if they suck. And my old mentor used to say in business, you don't have a, um, you don't have a business until you have a sale. And most people spend all this time working on their business cards, working on their marketing, working on all these things that have nothing to do with getting a sale. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go out and talk to two women. I don't care if you succeed. I don't care if they reject you. I don't care if you get their phone numbers. The goal is to to do it, write them down that you did the first two and celebrate those successes, okay? And they get the first week of two to three approaches a day done and follow through with your commitment 100% to the letter by the end of the first week. Um, now, this is a really powerful process because it's all about decision and choice and commitment. And that's all courage level emotions for you, for those of you that are into the revealing process. At the courage level, we really start to change our lives a lot. We step into tension, we make things happen, we activate the law of transmutation, and we cause a change. It also brings up all the hidden uh, fears and worries and doubts uh, that we need to process to become to become um, the person we want to be. So, you know, the moment you approach that first girl, all the reasons why you're nervous or scared or fearful come up and that gives you an opportunity to, to get that stuff out of your nervous system, to clean it out. So, uh, so get out there, get those first few out. And then what I want you to write in the journal, every day that you do your approaches, I want you to write how, what you learned and how you're growing. That's it. Just write down what you learned, how you're growing. It's really good if you read them before you go to sleep, if you remember, but write down what you learned, how you're growing. Um, now, some added elements that I want to add to this is it's really good if, you, if you've watched any of our videos on the highs that help you to become more expressive, more outgoing, is to do 10, 15, 20, 25 highs before you approach, depending on how much time you got that day. You can pop out 10 in no time. 
just walking down the street, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Practicing being seen, practicing being expressive, and particularly feeling the heart area of your body where all your vulnerability is, your sadness, your joy, your love, your sorrow, your gratitude, and work on feeling that area as raw as you can, the throat, so that you're giving the gift of your vulnerability to these people as you say hi, not a wall. And so I'm gonna walk down the street and I'm gonna be like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Connecting with people a little bit at a time. That is so powerful. When you get really good at this, uh, 60, 70, 80% of people will smile, nod back. As long as it's not too noisy, they'll typically connect back with you. Okay, once you're a little warmed up, you feel like you got your, your, your blood flowing a little bit, the next step is to do your approaches and then journal them. It's that simple. And uh, on top of that, I'm gonna give you a bonus here, and this is super powerful, is I want you to listen to my free revealing practices that are on the YouTube channel. Uh, there's one on uh, the body scan meditation. If you can listen to that before you go out, that's great. After's great, doesn't matter. Just try to listen to that once a day if you can. And or you can listen to uh, the one on uh, who are you as a man, the guided release. Now that one will help you to become a decisive, powerful man, whereas the full body scan meditation will help you to feel more, learn to open your heart, create more feeling. The feeling one, the body scan will help you to connect better when you're talking. The power being a powerful man will help you to develop your tension skills, your ability to make a choice, your ability to set boundaries so that when you're in front of the women, uh, they can feel your masculine power more. So you can decide which one you wanna do, when you wanna do it, um, how often you wanna do them, but I would say do at least one of those once a day and, and start uh, figuring out which one works best for you and uh, which one you feel like you could use more of. That will help to grow you in the right direction. And if you do them multiple times over 30 days, it can radically shift your life. I had one student do the body scan meditation for, I think it was nine months before he came to my week long and he destroyed the week long. He killed it. He grew like a weed because he was feeling so much, so grounded in his body, so present because that nine months really changed him. And he said he listened to it often twice a day for that nine months. And, uh, and I really saw the difference in him and it was beautiful to see. So that could be you too over the next 30 days. Um, so that's it. So for the first 30 days, you're gonna approach these women, but how you're gonna approach them is very simple. Uh, you wanna get those first two out of the way right away. Um, and you're gonna approach them very simple. As soon as you see them, approach them within five seconds, preferably three seconds, be moving in that direction. You know, Mel Robbins says five seconds, mystery, old days and mystery math, that's one thing I agreed with, he approached within three seconds. Why is that important? Because it's really hard to teach you how to be good at approaching when you have massive anxiety and fear running. We're telling you to calm down, relax, talk slowly, work the pauses, and your brain is spinning and your thoughts are spinning and your mind is spinning and you don't hear a jack shit we're saying. That's why on this video, I, on these videos, I'm co constantly kind of coming at this stuff from different angles, trying to get past all that ego to the subconscious mind. And so that's why I like the depth. I wanna explain, I'm talking to you guys out there that really need that depth. So we're moving in that direction, okay? So, uh, so the first step is to move right away because if you don't, let's say you sit there for a minute, two minutes, three minutes, thinking about what to say, all you're doing is building a pattern in your nervous system of building anxiety, fear, doubt, and worry, letting it build up before you approach. So the next time you approach, you've shown it that it has that it's gonna build up again and again and again, and that's gonna be your whole life of approaching. Later, when you're comfortable with approaching, you can relax, you enjoy it, you enjoy the vulnerability, and even enjoy the fear a little bit, like she makes me nervous, I can't wait to do it. Then you can take your time and let it build a little bit because you've got a skill set to work with but in the beginning, just go, go, go. Get the approach out of the way and then journal what you learned from it. Even if she rejected you, wow, she rejected me hard and I handled that really well. You know what? I'm growing from that. Matter of fact, each rejection by law of polarity is only gonna lead to an equal or greater success down the road. And these realizations are so powerful. So that's really your first week. The next piece is the, the approaches can be in indirect, depending on your skill level, you decide all the way up to really boldly direct. Indirect would be something like, um, you know, I see you've got a, uh, got a Starbucks there. Where's the Starbucks? I'm totally lost. Uh, yeah, I'm a tourist and uh, maybe you can be my tour guide. You know, that's an indirect. That's a little playful indirect. It could be as simple as if you're really nervous, you know, do you know where the Starbucks is? And then, okay, thank you. And then walk off for the first couple just to get them out of the way. I've had clients that wouldn't even ask the time because they were shaking so much. And uh, so I always wanna think about those guys. If that's where you're starting, that's where you're starting. 
accept it. If you're comfortable with being bold already and you're comfortable with being bold, go right for the directs. Walk right up. You know, there's something about you. I saw you from over there and I just had to say hi. What's your name? And really work those pauses. Or I saw you from over there and I thought, damn, she's got a great vibe about her and she looks really cool. So I just knew I had to come meet you. I remember I met this one girl once. I heard her through a crowd. I heard all these people talking. It was a seminar. It was tons of people. And I could hear her voice. And it was so beautiful. And it was it was magnetic, actually. So I worked my way through the crowd. And there she was. She was standing there talking to this dude with dreadlocks. And I walked over. And all I said was, excuse me. And she turned her head towards me. And I said, I heard your voice through the crowd. And it was magnetic. I had to come say hi to you. And she turned and went, oh, really? Boom, locked, turned it. That guy suddenly got completely pushed out, locked right in with me. And uh, we're still good friends today. That was like 10 years ago, me and her. Um, and she's awesome. And so, and for a lot of you guys, being direct is scary. Some guys like, it's indirect. And some guys, no, direct is ballsy. And some guys are like, direct doesn't work because if you give too many compliments, they won't like it. It's all bullshit. It's all about who you're being, okay? I'm gonna tell you that right now. If you're being super nice, I'm probably not gonna tell you to give a lot of compliments because you're, because you're gonna overdo it. You're gonna lean in. Um, and, uh, but if you're really masculine and grounded and got good boundaries, compliments can work like, and really good attention skills, compliments can work beautifully. Indirect, sometimes I don't wanna go direct. Sometimes I see a girl, yeah, it's just something interesting about her. I don't know if I wanna know her. I just wanna kinda say hi and flirt with her a little bit and see who she is. So I'll walk over and maybe I'll comment on something I see and then I'll start to ask a question and I'll start to go from there. And then, and if it connects, then maybe I'll turn and get more direct with her. You know, there's, you've got a great vibe about you, something about you and then I'll turn up the turn on or maybe I'll just walk away. Maybe I can't see her. I, I only see the backside of her and she's got a good ass when I, I want to walk up and say something. So I'll comment about something she's looking at and go from there. There was a girl uh, just the other day and if you practice indirects a lot and you get really spontaneous and playful with them, uh, they just come out of you naturally anyways. You won't even be thinking about it. I was passing a girl the other day in Miami. She was doing a little photo shoot. Um, her friend was taking some pictures of her. She's kind of half in the street. And as I was walking by, um, I just kind of, I wasn't even thinking, I was talking to a student. I said, I said, oh, am I interrupting your photo shoot? And she said, no. And she, and then she, and she giggled and laughed because I was walking right through the camera. And I said, well, it was pretty damn sexy. Look at you. And I said it really loud so everybody could hear. She giggled, she laughed, she turned about 10 shades of red. And it was, it was kind of on right there. And I just kind of let it go because I wasn't really attracted to her, but I was just having fun with her. You see, so I commented and that's, that comes back to what we're gonna talk a little bit about next week is I commented on something in the environment and then I added more to it. And then if I really wanna to talk to her, I might ask a question or something like that, go from there. So we'll get more into that later. All the way up to really uh, grounding, practicing directs, which we call tension stops, which we may get into in the few, next few weeks, which are not designed to attract a woman. They're really designed to be used to develop your tension, your grounding, your masculinity, all that kind of stuff. So here's your assignment. You've got it. Uh, one more quick rundown. You're going to get a journal. You're going to write down your commitment two or three stops a day. You're going to stick to that commitment because courage and tension and sticking to tension grows you as a man. Napoleon Hill's uh, chapter on making a decision in the book, uh, Think and Grow Rich. You can read it if you want an extra uh, um, credit. Um, you're going to listen to the two reveals. You're going to pick when you want to listen to them. Try to listen to one a day at least. The one on the body scan meditation and uh, the one, who are you uh, Who are you as a man? Find out which one works for you. Use it. Use it on a regular basis. Use it before you go out, after you go out, wherever you want to use it. You're going to do uh, your two to three approaches a day, indirect, direct. I don't care. We're just priming the pump. Uh, you can do hit and runs where you walk up, say something, leave. You can try to start a conversation for a bit, but you're going to get two out of the way a day. And then you're going to journal what you learned from them, how you grew um, and uh, get it down in that notebook that you're going to carry with you. And uh, and if you want to and for a good warm up, you can do like 10, 20, 25 highs. I can do 25 highs in five minutes in a good street with a lot of people. I just walk down the street. Hey, how you doing? And I try to be typically open either I try to connect really deeply to the person creating a really good conduit 
or I try to open really wide and, and I get seen by everybody, getting comfortable being seen, being expressive. Because a lot of my clients being nice guys, you have a fear of being seen, you have a fear of people judging, you have a fear of people what people think, and that's what the highs help get you over. You stop giving a damn what people think, you start saying what's on your mind, you start blurting it out. And instead of highs, you can throw out compliments, okay? But those don't count as stops. Stops are where you stop the girl, either she's walking, she's in a store, you walk up and you talk to her. Uh, not even stops, those don't even count as approaches. Their stops are just stopping an individual, excuse me, to have a conversation to practice your, your social skills. And then the, the uh, actual uh, flirting with a girl is actually walking up and intentionally talking to a girl that you're attracted to. That's very different. So let's say you're walking down the street, you're doing maybe 10, 15, 20 highs really quick. Hey, how you doing, how you doing? And you see a really cute girl and you yell out, hey, beautiful dress. That doesn't count as, as one of the interactions because you didn't actually go over and have a conversation with her. Now, if in the middle you decide to cut over and stop her and say, hey, I just had to stop you. You got a vibe about you. You got a great vibe. It's really sexy. My name's Brian, what's yours? That counts. Or it could be as simple as, excuse me, I just had to stop you. Um, I see that you got Starbucks in your hand. I am totally lost. I'm looking for Starbucks. Simpler, right? Less tension in that. Um, and you decide how much tension that you can handle and you work it, okay? You're gonna journal it and then that's it. Next week we're gonna get back and we're gonna start cleaning these up more and we're gonna start moving towards a more powerful skill set. So there's your practices for the week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is uh, the first in a four part video series. Make sure to like if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure to put a comment in the video. I'd love to hear your comments and share it. If you share these videos, it really helps to grow the channel. As we grow the channel, we can bring you more and more awesome content. And I can't wait to take you on the ride for the next four weeks. And remember, only the confident really live. So I wanna take a moment and I wanna acknowledge you for going through this uh, series on becoming better with women. It's a powerful series, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm really enjoying teaching you uh, how to direct approach women, how to approach women indirectly, how to use uh, banter, push pull to connect with women better how to uh, qualify women and how to get that phone number. These skills are essential and they're, they're powerful skills. But if you're still having trouble communicating with women, you're still having trouble connecting with women, it might be more of something around the area of the way you're being. You see, the biggest problem I had wasn't doing the techniques. I learned the techniques a long time ago. The biggest problem I had was who I was being. Was I being grounded and rock solid as a man? Was I being re reactive or proactive? You know, proactivity is so powerful. Reactivity just pushes women away, no matter how many of these techniques you get right. Was I running from tension or was I stepping into tension, owning tension and enjoying it? Did I have any sense of vulnerability in my communication, the ability to connect emotionally, or was I walled off and shut off? You see, who you're being before you say a word and the way you move and walk and talk and carry yourself is actually the number one thing that's gonna get you good with women. It's way more important than the things you do. The things you do then get fueled by that and they get supercharged. If you do these things and you don't have a strong sense of beingness, you can actually push women away. But if you do these things and you have a powerful sense of beingness, you pull women in. It's like a magnet. One side pushes away, the other side pulls in. So if you wanna be that part of the magnet that pulls women in, then check out my new book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. There's gonna be a link in this video somewhere and uh, it goes through all of these qualities, the qualities that make you a powerful, connected, grounded man that turns on women before you even move a finger. And then you put these techniques in the series on top of that and everything will change, okay? So click on the link in the video, get started right away, and I'll see you in the next video.